moon shall be tinged with blood. The sun shall be obscured. Brilliant stars shall fall from their sanctuaries in the heavens. Fire and smoke shall rise up until they reach the very sky. Hello everyone, and welcome to another Howler for an Hour. This time we're playing a game that is actually quite old. This came, all, uh, this came out all the way back in 2001, Blade of Darkness, though it just got a C release uh, this last October. Kind of appropriate, given this game does have a rather dark atmosphere to it. It's, I would almost hesitate to call this game a bit Souls-like, actually. It's an action-adventure game. Uh, it's quite dark. <laughs> To the point where the, the options menu, there's a gore option, and I can turn on a parental lock if I don't want that for my poor precious children. I'm okay with them cutting up monsters, but hey, with no blood. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, so, anyways, this is an old game. I think we have to play this on keyboard and to demonstrate I have to use the arrow keys and enter key to interact with the menu. That's how old this game is. And, but yeah, this actually looked pretty interesting. I've never actually played it. I think I saw... A long time ago, I think I saw somebody play the, the very first part of the game. If I recall correctly, this is a dark, unrelenting game, kind of in the vein of, like, what you'd expect out of a Souls game. Or maybe a little bit of... Oh, I can't quite think. Like, uh, the Kane games, if you can recall. Legacy of Kane, a little bit like that, I think, too. Anyways, we're going to check it out, find out for ourselves what exactly we have to expect out of this. But before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. If you really want to help out, though, come over to Twitch. I'm trying to reach partner, and your view count matters. So whether you want to come by to lurk or to talk, please consider it. Also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so check them out if you're interested. Now... Let's go ahead and just hop, hop right into this. Hopefully it runs good. Hopefully this is a good... I mean, this is a 20-year-old game, so hopefully this Steam release runs well. We'll see. I think they did update some stuff, so... Uh, hopefully it runs well. Let's see here. Choose arrows to collect the character. All right. Can I... Now, the controller kind of does things, but kind of doesn't. So I don't think this is really a controller game. If the volume's too loud, let me know as well. All right, press arrows to choose character. What, what do we got here? We got... Okay, so we got... Warrior looking out upon the ruined castle walls. Our dwarf friend who got shit-faced drunk. Some lady archer who's there for gender diversity. And a guy who looks like he came out of a 90s action show that comes on in the afternoon. He seems very angry. <laughs> oh, but there's more. Oh, it just loops back. Okay. Who do we want to be? <laughs> so, old swordsman guy with a shield. So, he's like maybe a paladin. Want to be the dwarf? Dwarves are pretty great. <laughs> he seems like he's having a good time. Uh, we could also play... Our Archer would probably be... I mean, range is good in these sort of games. Or it could be the guy who's like... But he's more of a... He's less of a knight and more of like a berserker or something because he doesn't have a shield. You guys want the dwarf. Okay, we'll do dwarf. That's probably the last character I actually personally picked, but I'm going to let you guys pick, so we'll play as a dwarf. 
Interselect, okay. Is the volume good? Oh, we have- oh, there's descriptions. Hold on, I gotta read each one. I didn't realize that we get more information. Okay, what do we got on each guy? So this is- this is Sargon. He has a hundred life. Attack one defense one. Okay. Especially one-handed swords and shields. Men of arms. The success of the King's Knights is based on their organization, their knowledge of the art of war, and their superior armaments and armaments in both attack and defense. One doesn't sound very superior, but okay, I'll take your word on it. Um, this guy? Ah, Takarum. He has got attack two, defense zero. See, he is a berserker. He has more attack, but no defense. Especially two-handed axes and swords. A proud and independent people. Tur Tukaram's tribe pay no tribute to any power, nor do they recognize any lord as being superior to themselves. They respect only armed force and the ancient wisdom of their sh shamans. Also, holy shit, he's ripped. Uh, okay, so he has strong attack power. And then we got... What, what's, what we got here? Zoe! That's a very simple... Uh, wow, that... <laughs> That over-sexualized pencil drawing. Okay. Attack 1, defense 0. Pretty, pretty low stats, but, uh... Especially spears? Okay, she has a bow, but sure, spears. I guess I have given her rage, though, regardless. The adventurers travel around the world to search for legendary treasure. They are nimble, resolute, daring, and seasoned warriors. Shut up, crows! It's not uncommon to encounter them singly or in groups wandering the highways or delving among the ruins of yesteryear. God, those crows. And then we got Nag Naglfar. Naglfar! Oh wow, he's good stats actually. Two and one. Uh, at least good by comparison to the others. One had access to shields. For countless generations, the dwarves have sought the most precious metals and jewels. Their hard yet but peaceful way of life has made them strong yet continental people. By the way, is everything too loud? Let me know. <laughs> Alright, we'll play as a dwarf as you guys request. Actually, I do like his stats, so. And the tutorial. Sure. Let's do the tutorial. Naglfar is the name of the ship that made made from teeth and nails of the dead in the cell of Ragnarok. Oh. Use the backward and forward keys to walk. Quickly hit the forward key twice to run. Oh wow, okay, that's a bit <laughs> Oh jug jug jug! Wow, this run animation. Press F1 to continue. That's a okay. Press them at the same time, make a 180 turn. Okay. Press stealth key as you walk the snake. Uh what's that? I guess that's that is shift. I like how I was just telling you to press attack you to punch. Uh yep, left click. Uh jump. Okay. While walking forward, press jump to leave over the small pit. Hold on. Oh, jump is right click. What the okay, sure. Right click. Gotcha gotcha. Okay. Well right forward, press jumped across the bigger pit. <laughs> that jump animation! Oh my god, this dwarf is great. Alright. Move on to the first step. Move on to the first step. Whee. Very good. Oh, I can just climb this? Alright. Press jump key while walking right up to the step to climb it. Oh, is it, you mean this? You, that's a ledge, not a step. Alright, whatever. Okay, so we have great vaulting potential. Jump on mouse, yes. Professional quake? Is that a quake is that a quake setup? Interesting. <laughs> that fall! He just seemed like he didn't care that he was falling. The close to the lever they activated, okay. Alright, press use to open the gate. Got it. Uh E? Alright, E. I'm guessing with both these controls. I activate two blocks of the game. Okay. Press. It's kind of tank adjacent controls, this. Select an unlit torch by staying close to it and pressing. Hold on a second, actually. I want to get this control out of here. The wires are interfering with my mouse. Yeah. Alright. Select an unlit torch by staying close to it, pressing the select object key until its name appears. Flammable and breakable. Yeah, correct. Okay. So I need to press- wait, I can help- wait, Q says launch. Launch? Okay. 
Um, okay, select object, select object. What is, what would be select object then? Pressing the select object key until its name appears. Now what would, what key would that be? Apparently, I just picked it up anyways. All right. Never mind. Uh, well, I don't know how to select objects, but I could stand next to them and just use them that way, I guess. Oh, it's on fire now. Eat. <laughs> All right. Sure. Launch does. Page buttons? That would be. Hold on, I wanna I wanna figure out what select object key is. Let's try going down to controls. Keyboard. So oh wow, this is very this is very doomish, quakeish. Uh, let's see. Select uh oh. Cycle weapons will up, will down. Okay, okay. Cycle inventory object C. These are things I'm going to keep in mind. Throw with Q. I, I figured I could throw the torch, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. But Q is indeed a throw key of some sort. Uh, select object. Oh, space. Space. Apparently. Ah, yeah, there it is. Okay. So if you walk up to an object and you're not sure if you can interact with it, press space and you get some information. Also, it'll cycle, I guess. Yeah, okay. So if you want to look at a different object, press space. And then just be mesmerized by the fire. There we go. These are some weird ass controls, I gotta say. I mean, they work. Try to pick up different objects in the room. The apples and cheese are delicious. I don't need your five star food review. God damn it. Oh, the torch is out. I guess that makes sense. New attack, left smash. Wait, what do you mean? I learned. Did I learn an attack? Interesting. I should drink. No? Okay. Did I learn an attack by attacking a bunch? <laughs> wow. Oh my god, you see that aggressive grab and eat? <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Rip that cheese's entrails out with your teeth! <laughs> I guess. I don't need it yet, but when I do, I'm going to rip it apart. <laughs> Too low to pick up, not in reach. Okay. Wait, hold on. Alright. Okay, I, oh, I have a throw. Hold down throw key until you launch reach the maximum and attack the release object. Okay. Let's try this out. Oh, I got it. I see. Okay, okay. Life potion. Nice. Cycle object key to use a potion while it's visible. Use it loose. Yes. While it's visible, press the use. So. Yeah. While it's on the screen, press E. Basically. How <laughs> wasteful. Ah, littering. Who cares? Alright, go on test the other objects. Try the iron key. It's delicious. There you go. Alright, let's see let's see what we got over here. So key. There we go. I'm gonna turn the game's gamma up a little bit thinking about it. It's probably a little dark for you guys. Too light? Maybe that's a little too much, actually. Hold on. That, that looks fine. Yeah, there we go. Pick any weapon. Okay. Um, these are just shields. Does 
Designed for barbarians. The bat's weapon. Designed for everybody. Designed for knights. Where's my weapon? Where's the weapon designed for me? Okay, I saw it. There it is. Designed for dwarfs. The weapon is well suited to your character. You'll be more skillful with it. List of skills of the jury diary. Press F1 to continue. Jury diary? List of skills? Take another weapon. Alright. Whatever this is, designed for everybody. I'll take it. Okay. Well, the guy keeps teleporting me away, even though it's like, ah, oh, get another weapon. It's like, okay, but he pulled me away. This weapon is useless at the moment. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Can we use any of your characters? Yep, 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 yep. Game is very picky, I'd say. How about this one? Nope, cannot be dropped. Uh. Okay, so, oh wow, the great hammer's like... Why did I drop that? Okay, hold on. Like, trade that out then. No, like, no, okay, that, what? I don't understand how I'm holding weapons, but I do have three weapons, technically. How do I drop a weapon? Wait, maybe I could just... Oh, wait, hold on. There's one easy way to do it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, grab this. Alright. Three weapons! I have three weapons. I have two weapons. God damn it. No, don't lose... Okay, actually, that's fine. I don't understand how to pick up three weapons. Wait. Okay. Yeah, I know how to throw things. Oh, oh my. Okay, well that destroyed some things, didn't it? My character will randomly just drop things too, and I don't quite understand why. Are you satisfied now? I have all these weapons. I have a chaos sword and take a shield. Thank God. Okay. You only at least two shields. How many shields do you need? All right. This is very specific. Common shield. Press the lock on key to face an enemy. Press it again to cycle through invisible enemies. Okay, I was right. Tab. Press the doll to see weapons key to leave locked on mode. I really wish it told me what keys were which key, but you know, whatever. Alright, what's the draw sheath weapon key? Ah oh, yes, caps lock. That's such a weird key to use, but okay. Can I, like, lock off? Yeah, okay, your caps lock has to be used to kind of lock off. Press the toggle weapons key, you'll carry, all your, you'll carry your weapons on your back. Really? And what's the toggle weapons key? <laughs> oh, you mean the sheathed weapons? Is that what they mean by that? I presume. Actually, I'm not... Yeah, it looks like... <laughs> I don't know why you put it in and out repeatedly, but there you go. Lock on to your aim and press the movement keys. Yep, I see that. To dodge, press... Yeah, can, I, I, that's so janky. But, yeah, I gotcha. Jump the link backwards? Oh, I see. I 
get a weapon more suited to your character. All right. There we go. You should get a shield. Uh, okay. There. <laughs> I had to press right click for that for some reason. Uh, all right. Oh, that's, I have an energy bar at the bottom, I see. Okay, carry it up to complete. Okay. So it looks like when you attack, you... Gain, gain new abilities sometimes? Kill that traitor knight. Oh, okay, sure. You traitor knight, I'm gonna... Kill you, I guess. Ow. It's a little Souls-ish, but also really fucking jank about it. There we go. When you kill an enemy, your experience will increase. When you reach a new level, you'll learn new abilities and your hero skills. This is like jank old Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Keep it out. Alright. I like how to say, hey, hey! I cut that guy's layoff. Alright, that's fine. Prove yourself a skillful warrior. It was that skillful? Now let's see how you can handle the bow and arrows. Okay. These are some interesting controls, man. It's back in the, the days where controls were not standardized, you know? Okay, so I gotta select the bow. Oh, that's actually a. Uh, okay. Select the bow. Keep attack, press your target is in front of you. Okay. At least attack to launch the arrow, okay. Well, that went much further left than I expected. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, um. What? <laughs> I was just like, okay. Okay, I don't think I like arrows. <laughs> I don't think I like arrows. You're prepared for the adventure. I don't feel it, but thank you for the vote of confidence. The dwarf is dro drunk. I mean, true. <laughs> Very drunk. Just fell down a cliff. <laughs> drunk. Tazel Zalan is one of the most important and ancient cities of the dwarves. The wealth of its gold seams and diamond loads was exhausted centuries ago. But those times of splendor are recalled in its well-preserved and extensive library. And its wise men are famed among the clans. In the underground passages of your home city, your tomb, strange signs and shadows have been observed. Bands of orcs menace the surrounding area with increasing boldness. So you've been sent by the elders to consult the Kazel's alarm scholars. Similar portents have occurred in the past. Perhaps answers are to be found among their ancient myths. Huh. So the story for wait, does that mean each I have the I have the inkling of a feeling that each character gets their own story. Slash areas, because we're a dwarf, we're going to the Sea of the Doors here. Would everybody be going to the Sea of the Doors, or would they be going to different places? Maybe each character is actually a different game, effectively. Hmm. <laughs> look down below. Look at the torch reflection. Look at the look at how wibbly wobbly the torch is, but the flame isn't moving. Ah, oh, that's good. You know, this is, oh, game was just twenty five minutes to figure out. Yeah, that was not a that tutorial took me a minute. Hmm, what's up this way? Okay, that was uh, that was physics, I guess. I guess those were physics. Oh, Votto, I've been streaming for well, four and a half years. Professionally, at least. Casual stream before that, but... Yeah, as far as a professional, as far as doing this as a job thing. 
Yeah. Still haven't reached partner. I really hope I can reach it at some point. I do think our audience is increasing, slowly but surely. But if you mean... I, you're, I think Vana was new, so I, I figured that was a new person question. Uh, as far as how long this stream has been going... Six hours, 13 minutes, but I figured that was a more global question. <laughs> what do I get slight Tomb Raider vibes? Do you guys get slight Tomb Raider vibes for this? I don't know. I don't know. Something about the environmental design just makes me think I better watch out for a trap. Oh, grass. Oh, it's boring grass. All right. Well, that's an obvious path. What's over here? Oh, we can kind of swim. I heard something growling in this direction. Huh. Something is angry. By the way, I have to double tap forward to run, but it doesn't always work. At least this doesn't drain stamina. Just running where I want. Yeah, I think I hear an angry cougar or something. <laughs> Where are you, angry cougar? I hear you. Good idea, car. This water really kind of fucks with my brain. It looks like it's a lot deeper than it actually is. I just kind of randomly climbed that. Anchor Cougar? By the gods of hell, the city has fallen. So many dead. How can this be? Dead people. Oh no. Oh, life potion. All right, I should check by. Uh, no, don't drink it. You were missing like five HP. That's a one hundred twenty potion hill, and you just drank it instead of saving it for later. Good work. All right, let's. Uh, I guess I'll just do that then. I guess that's what. He, I guess he'll. If he's at all hurt. He will consume before he saves. Good to know. And my axe. I got three of these. That may seem wasteful, but... Considering I can throw them, I don't think that's wasteful at all. Oh, limb. Oh no, my poor dwarves compatriots have fallen. Wee limb throwing! <laughs> Well, we learned a lesson. Don't pick up health potions unless we need them. Uh, unless we're at full health. I know, for the tutorial, I knew we could save them. That, like, we can store them on our belt. But yeah, apparently if we're hurt at all, he'll be like, Oh, we should just take this and drink it, so... Alright. In that case, nothing else over here. Okay, yep. Yeah. Sacrilege. Alright, we're just going to back up. That's a crutchy sound effect. We get over here. What was that about? Hello? Oh, it's, uh, it's a guy. He looks kind of constipated. DIE! <laughs> yeah, I had no idea that was going to happen. <laughs> just, just, he just turns and sees his frenzied draw running at him. All right, so this is proper forward progress. What, what is uh, what's down the other way? Also, how do I use my shield? The game never told me how to use my shield. I don't quite understand what button to use. It was a zombie. I thought it was a one of the evil dwarves that were mentioned. Ah, it does look to the same place. Okay. 
It's kind of a bit of a. I mean, this was made before. All right, cool. This was made before Soul. I think this was made before Demon Souls. Pretty damn sure about that. Uh, sorry. Oh, I guess. Okay then. Uh, what else you got there? Club. Comet shill. All right. Is that a worse shill technically? But it doesn't like it encumber me, right? Oh, they both don't actually. All right. I'll say the witch shield if I need the combat shield to be coming clutch, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Bottle and a chalice. It's, uh... Nope, it's just, just a bottle. Nice. <laughs> Cheese! Delicious. <laughs> I love how he eats that. Crust! See, I don't need yet. Yeah, so, food items, he won't even pick them up for later. Only health potions. But he'll drink health potions immediately if he's at all hurt. How do I open up, like. Oh, here we go. What the hell am I looking at? Okay, so. Weapons, specials, abilities, items, text. Oh, hold on. Ah. Abilities, right dodge, smash. So there's like actual weapon combos. Cyclone. <laughs> Hammer and axe. Okay. Interesting. And here's what everything does. Okay. And then we got all these different weapon combinations. Oh, my goodness me. Can't read it, sure can't read it, small window. Wait, too small? I can read it, but it's... It's nothing too special. Alright, let's see. So I guess if I mess around with combos, we'll learn new attacks. I learned right and left smash. I think that was just... I'm practicing. What's that? Crust cheese and okay, there's a food supply here. Good to know. Is there a running attack or there is no running or jump attack if you're wondering. This doesn't seem like it. Her jump seems very silly and not very combat oriented. I think this Ryan enemy like a loon works pretty well. I said it, I said this right usually works pretty well. Also I believe they said the orcs attack, so I believe these are orcs we're going after. Rested lock. I'm not gonna worry about my health until it gets low, in which case I'll run back for that food. <laughs> or I could or I can just eat this. Crust! Surprise! Not surprising. It didn't really heal me much. I did though. Okay. This looks kind of suspicious to me. Uh. <laughs> I got stuck there. It's really weird how I have a very limited stab system, but running is a free action you can just do endlessly. Yeah? Oh, they, they're doing jump attacks. Ow. Sir, are you not dead yet? Okay, that kind of... That, you're dead now, I say. <laughs> that looks like death, yeah. That person was harder. What did he... What weapons does he have? This. Okay. 
Thought this guy's an axe. All right. Yeah, I bet he'd get more healing value if he didn't take just one vicious bite out so he didn't actually eat the whole thing. Then probably would give him more healing. But who am I to judge, I guess? <laughs> Can I eat limbs? <laughs> Probably not. Right? I mean, I won't doubt his efficiency. <laughs> Good night, Chris. <laughs> crust of the crates and seals of shut. Gotta destroy your crust. How did we unlock the key, the, the door from that position? Alright, um. You know, I'm gonna try something. Let me grab a limb. <laughs> Just tell me. Let me have a leg up on the competition here. Um, I wanna try something. Is a clip through walls. Not exactly what I was playing, but I do have an idea. Oh, this looks like a door. All right, um, oh, hold on. <laughs> no, it's. Wait, dodging's a free action. I just realized. I hit him in the head of the limb, though. I was successful in my plan. <laughs> if I enter, so basically, if you enter into combat mode and you, uh, I think I heard two en enemies. Let me go get the other one with the same strategy, of course. Whoops! I missed. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> dead. <laughs> Restart? Uh, I guess so, since I never found it. Wait, is this a game where I was supposed to badly save as I went through? I'm not really sure. <laughs> I didn't even see a way to save. Hold on. And all the way back. That's fine, though, because I can do it a lot faster this time now that I know there's very few important items. At least to the first areas. All right, wake up! Come on, I have to wait for the cutscene. Azel Zalam is one of the most important and ancient cities of the dwarves. That's nice. How do I Both save? Its gold <laughs> seams and diamond loads was exhausted centuries ago, but those times of splendor are recalled in its well-preserved and extensive library. Yeah, I don't see any save option. I know there's a down arrow, but it doesn't actually scroll. So... I guess you just don't die, man. It's fine. Watch me speedrun. It's fine. I, uh, I think I got an idea of how to fight better, so... The problem is not avoid enemy attacks. With dodging, I can do that. Problem is more just... Oh, well, you can dodge without locking on, I just realized. That's uh, good to know. Yeah, fortunately, our infinite running can will make this a lot faster. I only took... I only got... It only took me so long to get that far because I was poking around places. Slowly, looking in crates and stuff. But knowing there's only healing items, um, and also, remember how I wasted that potion? I know better now, at least. I, I don't have to waste it this time. 
All I need to do is make sure I... So that we actually started the game with missing 2 HP, so that's really kind of asshole of the game developers. They started you off with just under max health, so that if you went and picked up the first healing item you saw the potion, you just use it. Of hell. That's kind of mean. Fallen. So many dead. How can this be? Really, we just have to avoid that. We just have to avoid the potion. It's right. It's right. It's, it's literally right, right here. I think. Yeah, right there. But no, we just need to get some other food first. That's all. Just a casual little bit trolling. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try something too. I want. I want to see if this works. Cause I had this. I had this idea. I think it will work really well. Actually, I need to find another one. Let's see. Yes. So here's my thinking, right? Wait, how many axes can I pick up? <laughs> That's a good question now. Hold on a second. I thought I'd be limited to f oh, too many objects this time. Okay. That's fine though, because I want to. It's, it's a bit risky, but I want to try something. Is there food in the box? Uh. Not that one. I'll, come, I'll look back around. It's okay. Okay. First enemy is right here. No, no, take it out. All I need to do. Locked on and. Fuck you. <laughs> yep. And if that doesn't work, I run away and throw another one. <laughs> My new strategy. <laughs> I had a feeling that might work. Usually if you're throwing a weapon in a video game, it tends to do an insane amount of damage, so, you know. That seems to be effective. A little slow, but effective. It's actually better than the bow because this is reusable. <laughs> Arrows probably expend. All right. Here though is where we can actually get some food. I'm surprised the game didn't say new attack throwing an a throw a throwing axe, because the throwing axe is a real weapon, too. Alright, now that I finally have food, let's go all the way back. Does this count as a souls like? What do you think? Sort of like the progenitor to it? I don't need it yet. No, I want to pick it up for later. Oh, whatever. I, I, I swore I picked up health potions for later before, didn't I? Oh, maybe it's because I have too many. <laughs> Alright, pick it up. Okay, I guess not. Maybe dwarves don't normally hold the health potions, I don't know. Weird. I thought you could save items for later. I thought the tutorial taught me that. Specifically with light potions, but I can't seem to pick it up. Alright. I'll just run away like a little bitch to grab some health if I need to, but hopefully I don't need to. There's a little, fi there's a little food pile behind that burning barrel, too. Your bias against calling you souls. Well, that's the meme, though. You gotta, you gotta stick with the meme. Uh oh. Oh no. And away we go! Okay. okay, punching is not what I'm trying to do, game. Try to pull another axe. There we go. Come on. Come on then. Much better. <laughs> Awkwardly run for my other axe. There we go. Hello. Oh no, I 
threw it underneath him! <laughs> Cause he... <laughs> Pull out the axe. Pull the axe. Pull out the axe! Wow, thanks! It only took you five years. What's that? That looked like a miss, but I'll take it. This is very chaotic, what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Alright, got my axes back. <laughs> uh, though that went- that was a bit of a shit show, but I didn't really lose that much health, actually. I think I only have three axes currently. I was trying to get him to eat the cheese, but sure, whatever. I guess he really won that crust. <laughs> it's more fun. I just need to gar- I just need to- Oh, I did notice something. Well, those two enemies had more health last time, so actually- Oh! Oh! I think the axe throw did kill- Did actually land both times, it's just that enemy had more health, so... So I think that was the enemy with more health. So I think he just survived one throw, basically. Oh, there's my other axe. Now I just picture, since I'm a dwarf, every time I throw my axe, I'm just saying- AND MY AXE! AND MY AXE! <laughs> Now here's the here's the boss boy. Yeah, see he like took a took that hit in, like a champ. Basically dead, you should probably probably stop. You are a lucky son of a bitch, I just want to let you know that. And my and my fist. How's <laughs> that death animation? Alright. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Where, where did I throw my weapons? <laughs> Yeah, if I really want to be effective, I carry four axes and I pick up a limb or something. Uh, uh, maximum effectiveness. Well, we're doing pretty good so far, actually. I know I threw another axe here somewhere. Where do you other one go? So here's the dumb thing about pulling out weapons, by the way. Here's how you pull out weapons. You mouse wheel to select a weapon, and then you wait. And after about, like, how long is that? 1,001, 1,002. Two and a half seconds later, your character is like, yeah, I guess I'll pull out the weapon. I mean, I might be in the middle of combat, but give me two and a half seconds first. Seriously, you have to wait two and a half seconds in the middle of combat to pull out a weapon. I... Because there's no way to confirm it. If you try to, like, press a button, you'll just actually cancel it, actually. So... That doesn't help much. Alright, we're, we're fine. We'll, we'll get through this. Just you wait. I believe this is a trap here, where if I go through here, I, I trigger enemies. There they are. Run away! The better part, the better part of Valor is running. Alright, I'm ready. Fortunately, I can prep throwing nice and early, so... Hi. Oh shit. I didn't realize he takes such a direct route. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, nope! He was like, I'm getting out of here, what? No way, buddy. <laughs> oh, is, is he not aware? Well, he's not aware anymore. <laughs> Oh no, his friend was very unhappy about that. Okay, it's, it's alright, give him a sec. Just give me a sec. Oh. It's fine. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I didn't expect to run out of axes doing this, but, uh... It's 
fine. Alright. Ow. 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 <laughs> Fish the fucking shins. You know what this will do? <laughs> Alright man, chill chill out. <laughs> I'm gonna run at him crazily with his friend's head. Oops. <laughs> Did I break his shield with my fucking fist? Alright, cool. Alright, you, you have a good day, I'm gonna go heal. <laughs> Fucking... I'll take the bodies, just in case. Mm. Alright, let's go eat some food. <laughs> yes, this is the best spot. Actually, I think I can finish him off with this weapon. So yeah, this game is, uh, real. I mean, it's it's really 20 years old-esque, I'd say. Alright, which way was which again? Oh, wait, it's the wrong way, but actually, it's fine. Quest. There are many crusts to be found. All right, there we go. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Certainly interesting. But uh, the lock-on is just painful, honestly. I have to press tab to lock-on, control to unlock, caps lock to unlock, rather. Where'd he go? I am legitimately confused where this guy went. Wait, did you say that Gladius is more damage? No, it isn't. It's less damage. Axe is still better for me. That was weird. Uh, okay. Wonder where the guy went. Kind of fucked off and went somewhere, I guess. Yeah, there's also food in here, but he would have killed me if I'd gone for that. Yeah, I'm gonna push forward in this one. Oh, there he is. Hello. I don't like the lock on, but I kind of feel like I need the lock on to actually, like. Hooray, I leveled! <laughs> I think what I should do is I should throw three axes, and if that doesn't do the job, I should just melee with the last one, right? That's probably the smart thing. Can we distribute points? I don't know if leveling up allows me to... Oh, I can... Oh, wait. Um, I have access to more of the menu now. Actually, wait. Do I? Like, there's specials and secrets, and I can't get to those for some reason. The secret menu is a secret to everyone. Um, I really expect this place to have traps at some point. Stone lock, store lock. Can I go shopping there? Hmm. 
I, I bet you anything if I fell down there, instant death, restart the entire map. Because it's an old 20 year old game. <laughs> I would have put it past it. <laughs> Oh, there's some, some doors alive. Interesting. Cool. I wonder who's gonna win. Iron lock, okay. There's something there. Yeah, I feel like the other classes would go to a different. We maybe would check that out when I'm about to quit. Just see if there's any other changes between characters. Hmm. Uh, okay. Hmm. That man was very angry. I love the repeated snarling. No, no, I, I didn't say put the weapon away. Oh god, there's two of them. <laughs> One of them just literally went, rawr, rawr, rawr. I'm, I'm mean, rawr, rawr. What if I just like mosey on over and just like? <laughs> They're like what? <laughs> I'm gonna try not locking on and still throwing. Rawr, rawr attacks you brutally. Yeah, let's see if this works out. Okay. Maybe, maybe a little more left this time. Let's try like... <laughs> you don't like that very much. <laughs> I love their screaming, they just never shut the fuck up. Don't mind me, I'm just getting some access. Oh no, rawr, rawr. <laughs> Whoop, I didn't mean to throw that one. <laughs> I think I ran back over for it. I think I have a strategy. Nope, never mind. <laughs> <That didn't work. laughs> Man, they love their long distance jump attacks, though. Fun. They have a limit. I'll take it. That wasn't too much damage on my part. I'm not sure what the. <laughs> Where'd you go? He's being sticky. That's fine by me, honestly. It just lets me pick up more weapons. <laughs> Look at the face portrait at the top, by the way, for this guy. He's very uncomfortable about going too close. Man, I need to make sure I'm distant away from them because it, if I'm not, the throw can go over their head. That's like no damage. <laughs> right? <laughs> Damn it, I am amazed how bad these extras are. I might actually have to learn the combat system to not die here. Well, you know. I think I see the best way to fight. Uh, excuse me. Stop attacking, you idiot! No, that's fine. Just let him cut you up. It's fine.
Well, that's fine. Rah rah! Start picking up random shit. I don't care at this point. <laughs> And <laughs> I got hit in the head. What's dumb is the way to un the the button that unlocks fight from fighting is also the button that um puts you out of combat stance. Which what if you want to stop engaging but you still want to keep fighting? Like it's hard to do that. <laughs> I suppose I could take a bit of this fire. No, oh, I actually wait. Fire. Careful, don't burn yourself. I, I, I kind of pushed it, though. They just howl at you? No, 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 no. This was but the noise of the end of the episode. <laughs> Before that, though, I'm not ending until I... I'm gonna... Here, here's what. Here's how this episode's gonna end, right? Either I die <laughs> or I succeed. And whatever that means, I'm not really sure. I guess we'll find out. God, I'd love it if he just pick a guy without having to take take a second to sheathe the sword and then unsheathe it every single time. Oh well. But the other character's story. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll pop into another character just to confirm that they do indeed have different levels. I presume that they do. Um, but it will only take a second to check that, so. Alright. Yeah, now for a bunch of... Backtracking for noms. <laughs> That helps him in sleep, thank you. Uh, let's see. If you saw somebody write like that in real life, you give him a tip. What, like, for a, t a tip just in case they need some chiropractic or something? I mean, a hecking goof. It is quite the run. Yeah, sure, I'll let him that work. That'll work, I guess. <laughs> How about if you saw somebody running with a seven arm like this? Okay, I already ate all the food there. I think I'm almost out of food. I got the potion, but I don't really want to use that yet. Shame I can't put it on my belt like the tutorial sh showed me. Real damn shame, that. Alright, here's a crust. Cannot be dropped. Uh, I wasn't trying to, I was trying to eat crust. Just a box. Alright, I'm ready. Let's go. I got my bottle. I'm a drunken master. I gotta keep an alcohol bottle with me. That makes me stronger. Alright, let's uh let's go back and finish that guy off, hopefully. He's very strong if you didn't notice that particular enemy. Like he's uh takes a punishment. That was an interesting noise. At least the right jump is fairly reliable for crossing those gaps. I love how he hops into a room. Alright. The moment of truth, yo. Where is he? I'm ready for you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Went right through him? Alright, sure. 
All right, my, my plan is to throw all these clubs at him and then hit him with the gladius a bunch. Okay, throw one. Nope, over his head. Because he moves slightly, which means I missed. Naturally. There. <laughs> He's sleeping. All right, come on. Well, at least I hit him unscathed. Ow. Ow. Let's be more aggressive than normal. Yeah, I think I think the strategy I found that ow works is to let him do a jump attack, dodge to the right, hit him. Or not. Shit. I thought I was out of, He has like an anger range though, if you notice. How did I miss? That went actually pretty well. Okay, you can combo with this weapon, got it. Yay, I win! For being all rar rar, he was actually pretty tough. I actually wasn't sure if I'd win that one. Because his combat system is the definition of clunk of a capital C. Alright, cool, I can get all my axes back now. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! I did it, I beat the boss. I don't know if that was a boss. <laughs> I kind of like the Gladius, actually. I might want to hold on to one. It it doesn't stun very well, but it uh, it's a nice little three hit. Store key, cool. Now I wonder if I have to run all the way back to the beginning of the game for that healing healing potion, or if I could just get some food through here. I mean, there's some crust. I think it's cheese. No more crust. This really isn't enough to sustain myself, but it's a start. Actually, I have this weird I have this weird thought. I think there might be a secret here. <gasps> I think there is, actually. Do you see it? <sighs> if I could stay on the fucking wall for half a second, you fatto. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'll take it carefully. I thought there was something on that wall. Maybe not, actually. I don't know if that's parkour would even be possible in this engine. Alright, let's, uh, let's go back. I am locked, but... Didn't I get a store key? Let's go back. I'm. I actually am not terribly lost. I the store key. The store room over here. Every time I do that jump, I honestly wonder if I'm going to die. Like yeah, right here. And open this. There we got. Oh shit! Listen, I know old. I know old RPG games. That that is poisonous. <laughs> You know why I also say that? If you go to the items list in here... Notice how there's poison arrows? Poison resistance? Antidote? I don't know if there's actually an antidote, but yeah, you see my point. Cure poison! Cure poison! Cure poison! Etc. Oh, I know these are fucking poisonous. Instantly. Hello? What is your acre range? Nice little dance you're doing. Okay, it's pretty limited anger range. I, they are very low. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it. What if I, like, threw it a little lighter? That worked. Oh, why? What is it doing? Got that. Um, hello. Uh... Yeah. 
Oh, well, this is kind of working. <laughs> They're just standing there. <laughs> All right. Uh. Damn it. It looks like the Gladius is a more reliable throwing weapon in a way. Uh. Don't tell me I'm just gonna, just gonna grab. Just gonna, just gonna, just gonna, just gonna. Okay. Dude, it drops poisonous blood as if it dies. Th killing from a distance seems like a good idea. <laughs> also, it looks like if I. Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't see you over there. <laughs> Wait, actually. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What's the deal with those stairs? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I don't. <laughs> I didn't realize I could relock it. <laughs> And the dwarf decides, you know what? These spiders aren't worth it. Goodbye. <laughs> I think there's one more spider, so if I could just... Okay. Alright. Oh, cool. I cut it right down the middle. Okay, what I've learned at this point is Axe is the best general melee weapon. But actually, I kind of want Gladius's. Because they are better for throwing. They're much more reliable, their arc. Are there any more in here, by the way? I feel like they all kind of rushed me at the same time. Oh, yeah. I'm not seeing the others. So actually, yeah, I'll try to pick up Gladius as they seem pretty... Uh, sure, that works, I guess. <laughs> he, threw, he clearly threw that away without actually emptying it. Oh, what's this? Spiked club. How does this throw, is my immediate question. Holy fuck, this thing is terrible defense, but how's it throw? Holy fuck! <laughs> Did you see it's like hitbox, like hitting the ground repeatedly? Uh, this thing might work actually pretty well. For a throwing weapon. <laughs> it looks like it has a great deal of, uh... Yeah, that might be a really good throwing weapon. Because <laughs> it looks like it has a large hurt box. Anything interesting here? It looks like it'd actually be terrible to use a melee, because it, like... Did you see the minus 35 defense? I think melee... Actually using it in melee would be... Perhaps detrimental. It probably is really slow as well. But, uh. Yeah. Oh, a 500 light potion? Jeez Louise. Okay. I'll come back here the, when I inevitably take a lot of damage again. <laughs> Alright, in that case, all I really want is another Gladius. Which I think there's one down here. So I'll, I'll have two Gladiuses because they're better for throwing. The Spike Club because they'll probably fuck everything if I throw it. And then my axe for extra melee combat if I need to fight properly. Get her for one damage, then drink it. Yeah, if I hate myself. Pretty sure there's an enemy back here that dropped the Gladius. Oh, I don't remember. Actually, let's just keep going. Or I'll be here all day. <laughs> Basically, I want to replace the one of my axes with the next Gladius I find. I sure be Gladius to do that. I'm having a good time with this. It's it's like a bad game, but a good game. God, I hate that jump. <laughs> Every time I do that jump, I feel like the jank jumping mechanics are not going to work. Oh no, the dwarf died over the pit, but didn't fall for some reason. Okay. Alright, this is a new area, but I think there's a gladius back here I left, though. I want to go double check. I mean, tw considering it's 20 years old, it's definitely it was definitely trying some unusual things here, I feel. Yeah, here it is. That's what I thought. I had another Gladius here somewhere. Right, so Gladius is better for throwing, 
But Spike Club absolutely first off for throwing. Just gonna keep this on my hand here. <laughs> Alright, um. I kinda like the 2000 era PC, PC games, I'll be honest. There's a lot of experimentation. There's multiplayer in this? Really? Like, co op or counter? Or like fighting each other? Every time that happens, I'm not sure if I'm about to die or not. Oh, uh, I might be. I think I'm about to die, maybe. <laughs> Alright. I, 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 that's actually. I just worry about trap killing me and I'm back to the beginning. Alright, there's a door here. Jump up a ledge there. Something that wants to. Oh, okay, hi. Oh, he's still coming. Shit. Nope, not what I meant to, That's not the button I was trying to press. Alright, hold on, it's fine. Go! Spike thing! Oh, wow, that did some damage, actually. Alright, time to leave! I shall regroup! Ah, oh, you can't do this jump, asshole. Or can you? Actually, I have no idea. Every time I do it, I feel like I'm gonna die, but... Here we go. Actually, I have a better idea. I know where he is. Oh, oh my god. Where's he going? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I don't think that would kill me, but I feel like I'd take fall damage, so. Where is he going? Uh. Sorry, what? There's a very angry person below me. If you're wondering. Oh no. This game is hard! What if I can convince this guy to fall down a pit? Or if I could just maybe. You know what would be nice? If I could just like get a free hit on him, that'd be. be swell. Nope. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Actually, wait, that works. I have a strategy, it's very risky, but it, it should work. Good IT too, Parker. Can I, like, sneak up on him? Nope! Oh shit, he's still- Nope. <laughs> okay, this is a dangerous position for me, evidently. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you know what? Bye. Okay. 
<laughs> I yoked it out like I wanted to. <laughs> actually quite this is quite an experience need more energy from yeah I can't actually attack properly this weapon but that's fine yeah this might just work <laughs> Yeah, that worked, that worked just fine. However, it's probably down below now. Keep in mind, that does a hell of a lot of damage to him. Oh no. Hmm. Alright, let's, let's go. Actually, no, 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 no. Let him leave first. Then I'll just, like, rush him. Apparently he has a potion, so if I do kill him, I can get a heal. It says it right there. He won't die in one hit, he's way durable. Oh my god, he's not backing off. Alright, uh... Okay... Really? Leave. Leave. Shoo. There you go. No? I, normally he would back off eventually. There. Oh my god. I hate this man. I think I'm stuck. Maybe he will de aggro if I rush him? Nope, he's, uh, he's mad immediately. No, 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 no. Oh, you mother! He drank it. He just held the full. What the fuck is this game? What the fuck is this game? You motherfucker! I was like, oh good, he'll drop me a potion. No. <laughs> you know, I think I have a new strategy for this game. There is a way, there is another way I can heal. I guess, I guess I'll be doing that now. <sighs> Please wait. It's a bit of a lock. And our dwarf has the shit, so he can't run very fast. Um... Yeah, okay, so the new strategy is, uh, fuck fighting. <laughs> Unless they have a key, I guess, but otherwise, yeah. Yeah, all the way back of the entrance. Feel all the- wait, actually, wait, hold on. Well, actually, let's- yeah, let's trick that one. I just realized there's actually one in the spider room as well. Looks like we have a gaping wound on our back across the spinal cord. I guess I might as well grab this. The faster your weapons put away? Do I? Oh yeah, it does look like I do. There. Consume. Good call, good call by the way, you're right. Well, <laughs> the running animation... He's doing that. He's doing that jogger thing where you pump your pump your arms for better like better flow, but it looks ridiculous on him. <laughs> thrust with the shoulders. Thrust with the shoulders. That'll move you forward. <laughs> it looks like he's leaning way back and running. His center of balance is fucked. I love how, like, little his head moves compared to his torso. Compared to the two. Yeah. 
This is definitely an old school hard, though. Like, seriously, these fights are kind of ridiculous, actually, in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, back to the fight. He's actually one- he was one hit from death, by the way, I want to point out before he healed. So, you know, good times. Did I just injure myself on a box? That's interesting. Yeah, that did some damage. On the bright side, fight this guy would be a lot simpler, so... Right. Hey, guess what? Lovely that heals you to full, so at least I got a full heal too. Fuck you, dude. That guy was good. That guy was actually quite useful then. The sad truth is, I'm my movement is so clunky that I kind of need to kill things. I'm not agile enough to just let them live. So, there's a press there. It's not made. Uh, <laughs> that, that jump animation, man. Oh, well, here's a life potion. Mental dope made. Try to avoid falls, because they hurt quite a bit. What is he doing? Ah, Well, at least I slightly caught my fall, so it didn't actually hurt that much. But, yeah, let's try to avoid that in the future. What's this? This has the appearance of an elevator, but the switch is at the top. Okay. Oh yeah, I just oh oh my spike club. I almost forgot about it. All right, we might stand a chance. What's up here? Ah. I mean, technically I'm evade that guy, but at this point. It's personal. He needs to go. <laughs> so the, here, here's the thing, the Spike Club... Really? Really. I... Really. I mantled wrong. <laughs> really. Is there any way to... No. Save game! Yeah, let's do that. Oh, there, that's where you save the game. What happens if I load this? There is a save option. I just was buried in a place I didn't see it. Alright, what if I load this? What happens now? Well, now I know that there were indeed manual saves. I just wasn't sure where they were in the menu. God, even really old games have quick save options, though. Oh, uh... Cool. Well! Uh, you know, I forgot the third option when I said that the way this episode is ending is either I die or I make it through this area. Yeah, I didn't consider, or I glitch the game to a state where it's unplayable. Yeah, that, that, I guess that's something I should have considered. Me being me and all. Yeah, I also thought that would start a new game, not let you save and load. Exactly! Same here. I'll select a different character, just to see where they go. I'm not actually interested in playing them. Thank you. Just wonder where they end up. I think we're- I think I'm- I think it's probably will be a different location. Yeah, this is totally different. As a faithful knight of the king, you were sent to investigate reports of strange events at the frontiers of the realm. But the worst fears of the Order have been confirmed. Ragnar, Lord of the Fortress of Tabriz, seems to have turned traitor. This is, this is much more Souls-like intro, too. And now you lie in a gloomy dungeon, your mission of failure and your men slain. The only hope of recovering your lost honor and saving the kingdom from its enemies lies in escaping this prison cell. This is just Dark Souls 1 intro. and defeat Ragnar. 
Hello, Neko. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this does legitimately seem like it would be a lot of fun, despite the, Well, now that I know you can... Yeah! Uh, now that we know the game lets you save... Also, I, what I wanted to try doing was... Uh, wait. Why does this file say awesome? I don't think there's anything really awesome about the location in which I am in it, but okay, sure, thank you. Awesome. <laughs> I feel like this game could very much benefit from a difficulty mode. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just stuck. For some reason, I can still kind of attack. Yeah, I completely destroyed this. I bricked this file. I would have made multiple saves had I noticed that, that was a function, but... Oh well. A little late for that now. I like how even the, the load screen does actually indicate me in the stairs, but I think the camera is just broken. Yeah, all I did was mantle on a part of the stairs the game didn't agree with, so I died. So I, now I'm... yeah. Oh yeah, you can tell I'm in the void. Look at my menu on the left. You see how the graphic of the weapon switching? It's... it's... it's causing... Yeah, I'm, I'm probably below the map now, or my camera's otherwise out of bounds. I can pretty much guarantee you that, considering what I've just done on the... Yeah, look at that. Woo! Shields. <laughs> let's, th let's throw something. Yeah. Cat, cat. But yeah, um... Well, what is there to say exactly? I mean... I guess, you know, it's something that I've said before for other uh, old games re-released on Steam. At least I think I've said it before. And I'll say it here as well. One, one second. Let me, uh... <laughs> Once again, the game won't close. Hold on a second. <laughs> game, where are you? <laughs> what have you done? Ah... Uh... I mean, this this issue, too. I, I was going to restart and bring us back to the title screen, but... Ah, you know what? If it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to, I suppose. You guys can still hear me, right? I th it's, something weird happens. I'm just double-checking. Oh, and there. It finally closed. It finally closed. All right, there it is. Okay. Um, yeah, so... I'm not entirely sure why this got re-released. Literally 20 years after its original release. Why it ended up on Steam only then. I'm I'm totally down with I'm totally down with old games being re-released on Steam. That's totally cool. Or good old games. Gog has a lot of examples of that. But honestly, here's the thing: when you have an older game, especially when it's like 20 years old, you gotta re-optimize it. And I think some efforts were done to do so, given I, given the fact that, for instance, we were playing in widescreen, and I'm pretty sure that the original game did not allow that at all because that was before then. That was before you know 720 resolution stuff. Um, so there's been improvements here and there, but uh, obviously there's some glitches I could easily find that are really, yeah, really game-breaking. Um, honestly, an easy quality of life improvement that doesn't seem to exist is a quick save, quick load option. That doesn't seem to exist anywhere, certainly on the options menu. That's why I was trying, that's why I just kind of figured I didn't couldn't save, because I didn't see any sort of quick save or load options in the option menu when I was looking at key config. There's just nothing here involving saving. So I just kind of figured, oh, I guess there's just, like, moments the game saves or something. Uh, but no, it was manual. It seems to be ba mostly based around manual saves, but it's buried in a weird menu place. But regardless, this game is still really jank. And if, if you're going to re-release an old game, it shouldn't take a suspiciously long time to close after the player stops playing it. It shouldn't hang up. It shouldn't have... Bugs as bad as what I just found. I don't think that... I mean, I'm good at breaking games, but that's pretty bad. Also, be nice if there was a tooltip about saving at the very least. Like, how you do it. Uh, especially since it is an old game, I didn't really intuit that. Um, but yeah, it's... It's another example of... Nice of you to re-release this, but you didn't really do enough to polish it up for this re-release. Is In my opinion. I know it's not a proper remaster project. I realize that they're not trying to completely remaster the game. But it needs quality of life upgrades. It needs to be a little more stable. Obviously, we've seen some problems here. It's not bad by any means. Uh, really tough game. 
a re-release with some difficulty sliders, like where like enemies are easier if you choose easy mode, less damage taken, less more damage dealt or something. That would have been nice to add, I think, because it it is un it is it is very unrelenting this game. Granted, I guess now that I know how you could save, you could technically save scum. If you like just charge an enemy if you don't like the results, reload before the fight. Technically you could do that, but yeah, this is entertaining and interesting, but at the same time, way too old and clunky. I like myself some retro games of this era, but this is just so painfully clunky to play. It's hard to explain, but these controls are just... Whoo, boy! I know I can rebind the keys, but I don't think that would really help that much. There's a lot of issues that aren't even just down to what exact buttons I'm pressing, but simply what combinations of buttons and how long I have to hold them or how long I have to let them sit, etc., it's it's rough this one this one could have used some control just like some controlling redesign if, if possible but i'm guessing that this was I, i'm guessing that whoever ported this or whoever re-released this didn't have access to the source code to make changes like that i'm not really sure i mean they made a widescreen fix but yeah i'm yeah it, blade of darkness is interesting but holy shit you got to have some real retro patience for this one i have a lot of that myself i i, I think but this one pushes pushes it a bit much for me even so yeah that was blade of darkness it 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 would probably be worth your time if you have the patience and the saves coming necessary to play it